Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. In this video, I'll be talking about creation of classes and objects in Scala. Although I've already have defined classes and objects in a separate video in the Scala playlist, in case if you're not aware about classes and objects, please watch that video and then come to this video, right? Let's get started. How we can define a class? To define a class in Scala, we have to use the class keyword followed by the class name. This is the syntax we're gonna use, class space, class identifier to create a class. How we can define the properties of a class? Properties are nothing but the variables and in the Scala they are called as fields. They're also known as instance variables because every instance gets its own set of variables and the instance variables need to be defined outside of the methods in the class. So this is a syntax we're gonna use class space class identifier var space field name equal to the initial value. This is how we have to initialize our things. This is the example we have taken with the, in this case, the example is of uh, the class person in which we have a three fields available with the name, uh, with the name gender and age are the fields and the values are temp, temp and zero respectively. How we can define the methods of a class? First of all, what are methods? Methods of a class are the executable functions which can only be used by the instances of that class. Like in this example, we have a two methods available, walking and talking. Although these methods are not returning anything, they're just used to print the statements, right? This is how we can define the methods of the class. What are the objects of a class? Once the class has been defined, we can create object from the class blueprint using the new keyword followed by the class identifier. So new space class identifier, this is how we have to initiate a class. This is a syntax we're gonna use val space object name. Object name is first person equal to new person. So at last line you can see this is how we can create a object from a class. So how we can set up the field values. So let's see how we can set up with the syntax. This is a syntax we're gonna use object name dot field equal to set new value. Like in this case, this is the object name first person dot field is name equal to value is Sarah. In the same way, the gender is field and value is female and the age is field and the value is 25. This is how we can set the field values. How we can print the field values? To print the field values, we have to use the print method. You can see the last bottom three lines in which we are printing the field values. How we can call a class method? We can call a class method like this, object, not, object dot class method. The walking and talking are the class methods. Okay, how we can make use of multiple uh, objects of a same class? So we all are aware that classes provide the reusable code, which uh, makes sense that we can create multiple objects using the same class blueprint. Like we are having already having the first person available in the same way we can create other, per other objects as well with the name second person, third person and fourth person respectively. So in this diagram, you can see it here, we have a first person, second person, third person, fourth person, and then we have a name available and they are, they are pointing to Sarah, Ben, Martin, Hannah respectively. Even though they are multiple name variables, but they all are referenced by the different objects, hence modifying one will not modify the others. That is why the fields are known as instance variables because each, of each object has its own set of those variables. This is the meaning of this diagram. So okay, okay, what are meaning of the private and public fields? By default, the fields defined in the class are public. If you want to make sure that the fields remain valid, it is better to prevent outsider from accessing those fields. How we can achieve this? With the, with the help of prefix, prefix, we're gonna use called private. So this is done by making the fields private. The private fields can only be accessed by the methods defined in the same class. This is a syntax we're gonna use where the prefix is private and the field name. So in this example, we have just used the same concept, but only one change is there that we have to, we have prefixed our uh, fields with the private keyword. You can see it here. Now we have a private name, private gender and private age. The rest, everything is same. Okay, let's create an object and try to set the value for the name. Let's suppose we have the uh, first person as my object name equal, uh, equal to new person, first person dot name equal to Sarah. If you just try to use this, right, you'll be getting the error. Why? Because the first person is trying to access the name, which is a private property because we already defined it as a private. So we cannot do it like this, right? Hence accessing it outside of the class will result in an error, right? So last point is how we can create an object using the construct constructor parameters. We can pass the arguments to the class the same way we have passed the arguments to a function. In my previous two videos, I already have shown how we can pass the arguments to the function. So how we can do it like class space class identifier and we have to specify in the parenthesis var space any parameter name colon data type. This is how we can pass the parameter the same way we, uh, we were passing the parameters to the function, right? This is the example we have used. In this example, 
we have the name gender and age all are the constructor parameters we also have a new field available with years which is assigned a value 15 and in, it is a private it means it can only be accessed by the members of the class years from now you can see it's a new method which calculates the age of a person object years from their current age right so the, we have just used this one right so in this case the, it's example of the constructor parameters so this is how we can uh, now uh, we can now uh, uh, create an instance of a person class using a constructor parameter so this is known as a constructor because we are constructing an instance of a class right at last we are just printing the things this is uh, this is i'm done with this uh, presentation now let's see how we can do it in a scala terminal so for this uh, i'm already have opened up my scala terminal and i'm currently in the paste mode what is paste mode if you want to copy and paste the code and you want that your code should be printed should be pasted properly make sure you are should be in a paste mode so i've already have uh, keeping the three things uh, as examples so that you can understand the things like the this is the first example in which i'll be creating a class and we are having the three uh, fields available we have a uh, two methods available then i'll be printing the uh, those uh, field values right let's do it in the scala's terminal so simply copy this and i'm currently in a paste mode so it will be easy for you to paste the things in a Scala. So I'm just uh, 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 pasting it here and how to co come out of this control D. So you can see it here. It is showing exiting paste mode now interpreting. So you can see the Sara female and 25 got printed because we were printing the field names here. This is how we can uh, make use of classes. So let's see the second example, which I've already explained in the presentation, how we can call a class method for this. Let's do it. Just copy this and paste it here right again i have to enter the paste mode like this enter now uh, copy and paste and how to come out of this control d you can see sarah is walking sarah is talking because we have used it here like th in this case we were calling the uh, methods right so it is the second one and how we can uh, make use of multiple objects of a same class so just do it here so copy and paste on the Scala's terminal and again have to enter into a paste mode and let's paste it here so you can see control D okay and you can see now here so we got this control D okay yeah I guess something is missing okay let me copy and paste it here let me come out of this and I'm again opening up Scala and let's copy and paste uh, the things again I guess something happened here no worries uh, entering into the paste mode I'm entering in the paste mode and we are pasting it here and with the control D I'm coming out of this right so yes I guess something is uh, something uh, there's some issue with this but no worries but actually in this case uh, I was just trying to print the different names so although the output of this will be uh, like the Sarah uh, uh, like uh, Ben uh, Martin and Hannah will be printed at last okay no worries I uh, will see it later it's uh, not uh, responding right so control D again okay now it's working yeah it's now working guys you can see Sarah Ben uh, Martin Hannah got printed right something happened in between no worries last example is coming in okay I'm in a paste mode and the fourth example so let's see how we can create our object using our constructor parameters example uh, copy and paste on my uh, this Scala terminal okay and control D exiting the paste mode you can see it here in 15 years Sara will be 40 so in this way we can make use of the uh, constructor example right so I hope you must have understood the concepts of the uh, classes and objects uh, the uh, re remaining content I'll be covering up in a new video thanks for watching guys see you next video